Okay. So most of what we do in, in SketchUp are draw lines. And like I said before, these lines are, uh, are, are sort of dumb objects. There's, this box is essentially empty. And if I go to click on an edge, the edge goes blue. And if I were to delete that edge, you can see my box actually falls apart, right? Um, it's, an empty, it's an empty box, for, for lack of a better word. However, if I draw it back, and as I bring my mouse over to any of the vertices, you can see I have a, a red square, which basically says that we're on an edge, um, a blue circle for the midpoint, and a green circle for the endpoint. And if I draw a line here from uh, corner to corner, it'll close my box back up. Um, I can also delete a face. Um, and to close that, to the, close that box up again, I can actually draw a rectangle on top of this. Um, and the reason I'm drawing a rectangle is to, to sort of demonstrate that we don't have double lines here. Despite the fact that there were lines there before, there's only one line now. And I'll just sort of undo that. OK, so uh, the next thing we want to do is start pushing and pulling these other surfaces to make this more of a complex shape. Um, and we can actually draw other shapes on our faces to do that. So for instance, I'll type R for rectangle, and I'm going to just draw a rectangle there. I'll type T for push, and I can just pull this up. Um, and what's really nice, if I'm going to do this again on this side, um, I'm just going to draw a line this time and you know, let, it, let it be a non-orthogonal shape. And you can see that every time we have finished a, surf, uh, finished a plane, that plane can be selected. So I'm going to push this one up again. And this time I want to make this surface the same height as this surface to the left. So I'll type P again. And this time I'm going to drag my mouse over to that shape. And as I get to that edge, we have a, a dash line across. And now, as I let go, you can see that our two extrusions are the same height. OK? OK, so we've talked about moving and doing things like this. And really, what we often do in SketchUp is uh, once we have created a shape, we, often, we all, almost always want to make it into a group, either a group or a component. Um, so as I select something, one, if I click on it once, I select just that face or just that edge. If I double click on it, I should get that face and the edges attached to that face. And if I triple click on an object, I get all the lines and faces that are connected to it. So once I have this object triple selected, the whole thing, um, I'm going to go up to Edit and choose Make Group. And now this becomes one object. If I were to click on it uh, one time, you can see that the, the entire bounding box is selected. If I double click on the object, I can now modify the individual pieces. 